get scientific i have done this exercise on this slide what i have done is i have put a word achieve idle afraid ancient arrive arrogant likewise from a to c to a to b to c and d and so on so forth you can go to z till the exercise does not need z you need to keep practicing and what i have done is i have found a word achieve i have achieve means something that you have achieved and the opposite of achieve is when you have not achieved maybe failed and what is the similar meaning to fail is detained or unsuccessful a simple meaning is unsuccessful and what is that which matches the antonym one word called as fail is maybe frail or fell right it is called as homophone a word which is similar sounding to one of the word that you have picked up from the word itself or the antonym or the synonym so that's how you are able to collect four words out of one word so achieve fail unsuccessful and frail is something that i've picked up from doing one word achieve and maybe build four different words likewise if you go and build up your vocabulary every day every single day i'm sure that you you'd march to so many you'll come across so many new words and you'll build your vocabulary like it not only this you are exercising your mind to think of a similar word meaning of it opposite meaning homophones and this is a practical exercise which will get into a fun game where your learning becomes very very stronger very pragmatic and this is what i have to tell you now this is an exercise which i have done with so many students of mine i must have taught not less than 15000 students for past one year and i've done it online and this is what the approach i've taken and i've asked them to do it and what they have done is a remarkable remarkable thing now let me also give you after homophones what is homonym now let's say homonyms are the words that have a same spelling but they are pronounced same same spelling same diction but have a different meaning for example i have jotted down few words which are similar spelling similar pronunciation but they are used differently that's the reason they are called as homonym for example i've taken the first example is address which means the manner of speaking to another you address the speaker addressing a gathering and the second is the address which is your your locational address where you are living right so the address can be two meaning but they are the same same spelling and the same pronunciation arm a arm is the second example which explains to you a body part and arm is also a division of the company division of the defense has three arms right army navy and air force Sec- third example that we can take is bat an implement used to hit a ball which we all know very popular sport call as cricket and the another bat is an animal a nocturnal flying mammal right and likewise you can build a homonym with bear book bright cave so on so forth so our exercise is not getting restricted only to synonym antonym on or homophones but it is also going beyond to homonym how you will build your vocabulary so the second exercise is homonym the third exercise will be idioms and phrases how many times we have taken the help of idiom or a phrase or a proverb and explain the entire story so these idioms or phrases or proverbs they are extremely common in everyday conversation but only if you see it consciously interpret it consciously and maybe take a clue and and maybe exercise to yourself so idioms phrases and proverbs they are very easy to identify and maybe exhibit if you have imbibed it you can exhibit it subtly you will hear them in movies 
lot of english movies if you see or tv shows that you see i mean i have found that today's generation are also fond of yesteryear's great english classical uh, serial called as friends and while they speak to each other the characters they have lot of laughter after it and those laughter can also have a humor angle so along with idioms and phrases and proverbs that you possibly spot or hear or listen to i think the humor angle is also getting chiseled out so maybe take a clue from that and maybe if you are listening to them very closely you can sound like the native speaker yourself so what i've done is i've also listed down few idioms meaning of it and the usage of it so let's try to look at few examples a blessing in disguise is a very common idiom or a phrase or a proverb that we that we use right and what it means is a good thing that seem bad at first sight simple meaning and you can use this as a part of the sentence how you can use it my god i have stepped out of you from my home to look for something like this and you were a blessing in disguise you have it with you now i think it will be of a great help to me right a dime a dozen the second example means something common right which you can use it as a part of a sentence something common right beat around the bush avoid saying what you mean usually because it is uncomfortable so don't beat around the bush come straight away to the point is what i think you should be very very clear with you can use as a part of the sentence what you can use by itself is better late than never you have arrived but you have arrived a little late better to arrive late than not to come at all that's what it means and you can use it by by itself so there are there are many idioms that i have jotted down in this particular slide just for your understanding that idioms and phrases can be used by themselves or as a part in a, in a as a sentence part in a sentence of course knowing the meaning of it so if you are developing your synonym antonym and homophone along with homonym idioms and phrases would also add on to do this particular exercise of building your vocabulary and maybe consolidate your vocabulary so uh, taking a clue from the first slide to here where we have reached till homonym or a uh, idioms and phrases i would only say that this is a fantastic exercise of knowing one word writing in a notebook having a, its synonym antonym homophone coming to homonym right and also learning idioms and phrases and proverbs where they can be used i think you just need to practice how will you practice it if you do not have your friends or maybe strangers and if you're not comfortable uh, doing it maybe practice it online there are a lot of online test at your help just google it out and uh, you know ask for synonym there would be a lot of online test go for it try and do it at a regular interval so when you practice it do it online do it very regularly maybe once a week or if you are not very comfortable every day or maybe alternate day or once in 3 days do it let's say every week pick up a synonym or an antonym or a homophone or a homonym or maybe idioms and phrases and proverbs and do it regular at a regular interval i think your practice would be most most subtle right practice it with strangers i've dropped this hint in my first particular slide itself strangers are are actually the great bounce you know bouncing boards they'll always help you they'll always be there you know standing as uh, giving you that support system in case if you are able to find few strangers for yourself and you can always step out from your home and you can always find strangers you are meeting for the first time so online test regular intervals of of your online test and practice practicing it with strangers will definitely help your you know give some kind of a concrete shape to your vocabulary which you are learning at your home and stepping out and doing it with a stranger so there is no magic there is only this eighth wonder practice practice and practice so if i say this where i mean the first practice going online test doing online test the second practice do it regular regular interval take this test and 
practice the third time when you step out from your home uh, with the strangers i'm sure you'd be able to do it and master any language any language for that matter spoken english or english is just a language it is never a science of a brilliance so i would only say happy building vocabulary mind you if you have a good vocabulary back of your memory you would be able to shape uh, and phrase and frame and construct good sentences simple start with a simple sentences and when you are able to master it i am very sure grammar is something which is taking a back seat how you will master it you can master it very soon by taking a help of this pragmatic approach